just uh, stand aside, don't get in the way. I think the most important thing policy-wise, um, I think, is to, uh, to uh, not create many new regulations. I would say, uh, you know, protect the people that need protecting. There are going to be issues of um, copyright infringement and predators and things that need to be dealt with. Other than that, um, try to stay hands off. My most fervent wish for the future of network technologies is that it becomes economically feasible for tens of thousands, maybe millions of people to get in and experiment in that space. Um, that's, that's what I'm dedicating my life to doing, is to making it affordable for people to get in and experiment and, and kick the state of the art downfield by a lot. You know, take the, take the power out of the hands of the, the, the huge uh, companies and put it into uh, into the hands of individuals and startups so you can get real innovation, um, uh, get some really interesting stuff built. In terms of fears for the future of networking technology, um, I guess I, I'd hate to see uh, I'd hate to see uh, uh, crushing regulation come in. Um, I'd hate to see, um, I'd hate for the, the future network technology and, and uh, I guess I, I'd hate for, how do I put this? Um, I'd hate for there not to be a, a revolution um, that lets people um, uh, really experiment in this space. I'd hate for there to just be this continuation of only big companies like Microsoft and Google um, you know, sort of set policy by what they do and the companies they acquire and the places they, excite, that they decide to explore. Um, I don't think we're really locked in right now. I mean, the Internet has changed everything. Um, but I'd like to see that openness continue. I, I would worry if, um, if, that e if, if, if the healthy ecosystem of smaller uh, companies getting involved, um, I'd worry if that ecosystem um, started to wither. The most important technological development I see on the horizon, um, this might take us in a kind of a sci-fi path, um, but I'm a believer that the singularity is coming. Um, I, I don't know if it'll happen in my lifetime, uh, potentially in my kid's lifetime. Um, being able to extend the human lifespan is, is sort of the end result of, of various technologies and things that I, I would like to see that happen. Once you start to extend the human lifespan, um, then you get increasingly uh, better technology at extending the human lifespan. So then, you know, the success of generations can be around longer and longer and longer, which can lead to all sorts of literally world-changing, life-changing new things to be done that we couldn't even conceive of now. So extending the human lifespan, um, keeping humans productive and um, uh, sharp um, well into their hundreds, I think is going to be really something that we'll see. Um, as I say, perhaps not in my lifetime. I'm sort of on the cusp. Um, but uh, perhaps my kids will get to take advantage of that sort of thing. I guess I'd say the thing that's going to most uh, change the lives of novice computer, or novice users of computers, and I, I guess I'd say this is within the sort of digitally enabled world. Um, you know, uh, parts of Asia, North America, Europe, um, uh, sort of an extension and deepening of what we have now, which is ubiquitous computing. Um, as we move more into to wearable computers, uh, you know, lots of people have PDAs, you have a cell phone, that's a camera, you know, maybe a BlackBerry device. Um, I think we're going to, um, you know, those are going to be completely, completely mainstream, more so than they are now. And I think we're going to see different input and output devices. Um, so you don't have to lug a, a, a laptop around with you. you. You bring with you some glasses that have a little monitor on them um, for you know a quick check of whatever graphical data you need. Um, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to somebody creating typing gloves so I can just type wherever I am. I don't know if anybody else is going to want that. Um, but basically, ubiquitous computing, a a mix of um, um, the virtual and the real. 
I think I think there's going to be a a, a convergence of um, of wired and 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 analog world, uh, and it's not really going to make sense to to place an arbitrary um, boundary or, or or definition between the two of those. Um, I think it's going to be a just a big uh, a big mashup, as it were, of the wired and the non-wired, and that's going to be life ten years from now. Oh, exciting! Yeah, oh, I'm. I'm. You know, I'm a. Um, I'm evangelical by nature. I, I get very excited um, by things that. Well, I get very excited specifically by um, progress as a concept and as something that I can help move along um, to the degree that I can in whatever way that I do, and I love. Um, trying to get other people excited about that and enabling other people to, um, to, to build things.